and power greetings friends Jimmy Hendrick here I want to talk to you about the five things ditch these five things in order to be successful okay now I started this channel back in October of 2017 and our subscriber list is great don't get me wrong but if you stumbled across this and you like what you hear, I would love for you to subscribe. Okay? Because we are we are now going to start something that is called a playlist called series called Jimmy's Success Coaching. You can you can binge watch these. Okay? So here's what's up. We are now talking about the five things that we need to ditch the most. The first one, the first one that we need to ditch is a negative mindset. Okay? Delatoro McNeil said, if you don't see it before you see it, you'll never see it. Don't cave into this life stinks things all the time, you know? One thing I like to do is, and I've started this, I've created a 2021 vision board on my word processor my phone that I'm using to record this and the one thing that I've been doing is tweaking it to make it look more like my dream and if you see it before you see it then you are truly see it but put it in put put this in there and put it into action and work on it because it's something that you can you can do if you have a negative mindset oh this is always how it is it's always how it's going to be no want to change tap into your idea that you need to stretch yourself to achieve your dreams in order to have that positive change that you need okay okay so now that's something you need to ditch another thing that you need to ditch is limiting beliefs the second thing limiting beliefs are something that is very problematic in our time and they ask you what what causes these these two things if not all five is uh reactivity a lot of successful people have decided and, and they, they live good life because of this they stop reactivity because that's what helps them grow in being who they want to be My granddad, my grandfather, uh, Billy Joe Sawyer, told me, he said, James, you can believe, any, you can do anything that you set your mind to. And I hold to this true today. So it helped me get my college education. So it helped me get, decide to start YouTube channels. Yes, I have two more that I'm working on and more actively. Uh, empower your pattern 2.0 and strenuous life empowerment as well the fact of the matter is this guys you have to get rid of limiting beliefs the sky is the limit for you you have to realize that okay here's the third, the third thing that you need to get rid of comparing yourself to others I'll be honest with you this one's a, this one's a toughie but it has to be done if you sit there and you compare yourself. I, I've sat there being all depressed and comparing myself to those closer to me in my life that may be a bit more successful. And then there are times I've had to grab myself by the collar and say, Jimmy, stop it. Because you are your own brand and your own message. You can't be somebody else's. Because what God has called you to do, be, and have is your own unique. Think about it. It goes along with the, pre the teachings of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints about self-reliance. Think about it. Now, here's the fourth thing that you need to ditch. Doubt. You see, my granddad and my uncle, they taught me some things, the principles of faith and no doubt. You, you have to do that. When, when doubt comes in, seriously, start a vision board. Do affirmations as much as you can every day. 
because those things are really going to help you. Because you have to have the faith in yourself and what God has for you. Have faith in God. And you will have the absolute best. Another thing that you need to get rid of is excuses. Excuses are useless. You know, in the magic of thinking big, it talks about the, the different excuse houses. Uh, oh, I don't have the best health. Or, oh, I'm getting too old. Or I'm getting too, I'm just too young. No. Get rid of all those. So many crazy excuses that can hold us back. And you can get rid of those. I think of, I think of powerful speakers that I admire such as Dan Clark um, the, the theologians like David A. Bednar Jeffrey R. Holland um, Dale C. Uh, Rowan but the fact of the matter is each one of us is called to do something different and that's why you need to ditch those five things God bless